that one. Let me tell you what we are going to try to understand in this video. So we imagine a kind of a container filled with liquid or water. Imagine the height to which it is being filled is some value y. Imagine a small opening orifice at the bottom. Water will come out of it. We know it comes out with a velocity called velocity of flux. Based on Tarsalis theorem, we have proved that that's value is root 2gy. If that is the case, that we take these things for granted, we have derived this derivation in the other video. You can look into that. We want to calculate how much time it takes for this tank to get empty. Right? Let's imagine this open area is having an area A1. This small opening is having an area A2. Velocity at the opening space is V1. Velocity at the orifice when the liquid is coming out, we have already derived as root 2 Cy. We can write basing on equation of continuity a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2. Right? A1, what is v1? As the fluid is coming out of the orifice, this level starts decreasing with respect to time. So I can write that v1 as change in the level, that is the dy, small change in a small time as dt, dy by dt, equal to minus a2 v2 is root 2 gy. Well, you might have got a question that why I have written a minus. It is simply to say that the level is decreasing. There is no other reason, right? So a1, a2 we have taken. So get that a to this side, that this side, a1 by a2, dy by dt equal to root 2 gy. Let us write an equation for dt. Yeah. So if I rearrange the terms, this minus is there. Yeah, I have taken this. Minus a1 by a2 dy by root 2 gy equal to dt. I have just kept dt on one side and all other terms on the other side of the equation. That's a small time interval required for the liquid level to fall by a value of height dy. So to empty the tank, I need to get the total time dt. To get total time, I shall integrate the equation. Let's integrate the above equation. Yeah, what happens when you integrate? Integral of dt equal to integral of minus a1 by a2 dy by root 2 gy. Well, integral of differentiation of time is time itself. So, t equal to, I can get these constants out of the integration. They are not going to make any difference for that. Integral of dy by root y. Root y means y power half. When you get it onto the top, one by, because it's a denominator, when you get it to the denominator, it becomes y power minus half. That implies time taken for the level to fall down is minus a1 by a2 root of 2g integral of y power minus half dy. We know there is a formula for integration that integral of x power n equal to x power n plus n by n plus 1 by n plus 1. Similarly, using that formula, minus a1 by a2 root of uh, 2g y power of minus half plus 1 by minus half plus 1 that dy that change is happening from a height h1 I'm just I'm assuming that these are the two heights from where from h1 the height is falling to a height h2 so that I can get in that terms these are called limits of the integration, lower limit and upper limit.
it implies time taken to empty is minus C A 1 by A 2 root 2 G y power of minus half sorry minus half plus 1 is plus half minus half plus 1 is also equal to plus half limits are changing from h1 to h2 so this will become minus a1 by a2 root 2g this 1 by 2 becomes 2 that can be safely written outside the limits because that's not a variable y power of half upper limit has to be substituted first that is root h2 y power of half lower limit then minus h1 this is how we apply limits hope you have learned it in basic mathematics so if you rearrange the terms time taken for the fall is i will take take this minus inside so that this terms locations will be reversed a1 by a2 this 2 and root 2 1 root 2 i will cancel so it will become root 2 by root g as i have taken negative sign these signs these numbers are what reversed this is the time taken for the liquid to fall from a height h1 to a height h2 right so if you want to say how much time is to empty the tank to empty the tank empty means h1 is full h and h2 is zero you are falling to a height of zero because these heights are measured from the top from the reference point right so time taken to empty is be careful to understand that i have not ignored uh, velocities at the top therefore i have got a term for the areas and respect to heights h minus zero that is this is the time taken of course there's a root h so time taken to empty that tank is a1 by a2 square root of 2h by g. This is how we can calculate the problem. Right? So I will just solve a small problem to extend this discussion. Right? A small problem, a simple problem to give you a glimpse of another aspect, another point. Say there is a tank, is the middle. So time taken to empty first full to half that is h2 h by 2 is t1 time taken to empty from half to bottom is h2 so from upper for upper half time t1 for lower half to empty time t2 i want to compare them to understand the meaning of very essence and the very meaning of this right i can use this formula time taken to empty is this is the formula areas are common these are common so only heights are variable so i can write basing on that time taken to empty is directly proportional as all these terms are constant root of h1 minus root of h2 let's take that h1 is this h2 is this in first case and in the second case these are variables yes let's find out time taken to empty first half by time taken to empty the second half that's the bottom is root of h minus h by 2 proportionality is cancelled because we are getting a ratio root of second half that is half to 0 so root 0 is also 0 right that implies t1 by t2 is if i take that h common and cancel root h if i have taken common it becomes 1 minus 1 by root 2 here also if i take root h common it becomes 1 by root 2 root 2 root 2 gets cancels root 2 minus 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2 root 2 root 2 also gets cancels so the ratio is root 2 minus 1 by 1 that is root 2 is 1.414 minus 1 that is 0 0.414 so if you observe little carefully, what's the meaning of this? To empty the first half takes a time of 0 0.414 into a fixed value when compared with the lower half of 1. That means 
the lower half takes one minute upper half takes 0 0.4104 minute much lesser so the upper part gets empty much quickly this part get empty much quickly why because there is more height there is more velocity at this place when compared with the lower half so that's what we can notice in our home also when tank is full on the top of our home water comes out uh, with a lot of uh, speed in our taps and vice versa that's it to understand that we can just why that's happening technically you can say this explanation right thank you for watching